No, because what see Caleb does is that he goes like Megan for like one game and then he goes back to Bagman. I I lost to see Caleb early today. I did not know what to do against Megan like at all. But maybe Kamex is a better idea. Oh no. my god. Hold on. <laughs> what? Kamex what? came out angry. <laughs> I um can we talk about this like me gunner voice? Like y'all heard the voice? I I know it was like high. The, the, okay, see Caleb picks the high pitch for the voice. So. But why does it sound so ugly? Why did <laughs> Nintendo do this to us? Hello? No, if my memory serves me correct, this is voice seven in the high pitch. So not uh, you knowing exactly what freaking voice. Well, I, I saw I saw no. C. Caleb do it earlier. I saw mm, C. Caleb put mm, it in. Mm, I don't have such a good knowledge of the voices that I know off sound. But, but I did see, see, it's C. getting scary here. <laughs> yes, yeah, Caleb, looking like a man. Um, a man. Wait, no. A man dressed in black? <laughs> sure. No, I meant to say Kamex was looking at a man possessed because of how aggressive he was approaching this matchup, but I said see Caleb by I, accident. I, I was just going to say because they, they both are using the dark ult. Like, they have the... Mm -hmm. Isn't that like a tuxedo? Yeah, it, I, I like it. I like it a lot. It's cute. But... Kamex taking that first stock right there. C Caleb's recovery is uh, C Caleb's up B is the one that recovers really far but has no hitbox. Uh -huh. So Kamex knew that he could safely throw out that bear, um, and there was not much that C Caleb could do in that spot. Well, it's looking like it's more in like Kamex's favor, and I love how like very aggressive Kamex is being because like as much as like you know they're still like waiting, Ooh, they're <laughs> waiting for weird. like you know C Caleb to like whiff. They're still getting it you know, like, their face and just, like, really using their movement to, like, be very aggressive. Yeah, um, so when we saw Kamex versus Dill, mm -hmm. Kamex really, like, didn't win. Kamex was close to Dill. He didn't show too much fear, even though, and that's Rob. Mm -hmm. And this is a total, Meat Gunner now is a totally different character, you know. Meat Gunner is definitely solid, but not the strength of boxing mm -hmm. of Rob. So Kamek's just honestly not giving this character respect. Just going in, you know, saying mm -hmm. like, okay, you can throw out your little like Metroid bomb, but I'm gonna, I'm Sonic. I'm fast enough to just hop over. I'm gonna spin dash you. I'm gonna homing attack you. You're gonna be uh, getting hit. And wow, a three stock coming out. I thought this was gonna be a slow set. Kamek said, we are going home early. Oh, period. They really wanted to just destroy C. Gilb in that moment. Like, I don't know. And but yeah, wow. Yeah. They kind of ate with these edge guards. Like, hello, you saw that? Yeah, I saw that. Kamex eating good tonight. Um, getting these two backers, and I forget how they close out the second stock. We're gonna see mm -hmm. right now. They anticipate three backers. <laughs> Wait, is that Devin in the background? Where? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's literally here. <laughs> I got scared because like that's the same shirt. Oh, is it that not? dude? The, oh! Wait, I was like, wait, no, they have the long hair and they have the shirt. I'm Two so Devons? confused. I was Which like, one's when real? Did Which one's the real Devin? Devin, um, <laughs> it's getting scary here. It is October. Spooky, spooky month. Some what strange things are happening. Well, you know what else is happening? Game two. I was going to say instantly <laughs> uploaded VODs, which is oh, why you should be Yes, uh, also that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, because what happens when you just like you might or might not have clicked that by accident? Like you saw a pop up ad, and you're like, dang it, it it, it clicked out of Zeno. You're not missing none of this yeah. action because we got uploaded bonds. You were like, Kamex beat C Caleb too fast. I couldn't even see what his Sonic was doing. Like, Luckily, hello. you can look at the VOD. That being said, C Caleb now 80% <laughs> switching to the Pac Man already going heavily in his favor. This is looking like the opposite of how last game started. I mean, yeah, we just got to talk about it because now, like, being at almost 102%, you know, like, all Steve Caleb has to do is just, like, get a bell like oh. that and not follow up off of it because yeah, that would be good enough. I feel like that dash attack was a misinput for sure. Mm -hmm. That being said, so, C. Caleb, oh, excuse me? You, he won't even let me talk. These back airs, four for four now, killing with back airs this set. That's so crazy. Very nice, like, edge guarding, like, from Kamex, just super amazing. Yeah, that, that shows, I think, some matchup knowledge, knowing that you can back air the pellet like as it comes out, and it'll last to hit Pac-Man when he eats up the pellets. So really clean stuff. And that's so important, because Kamex started this game taking 0 to 100. Even though he's dead right here with only 4%, it's such a big momentum shift for him, because he could have easily been down. And yeah, Kamex, oh, 
He does, he's not giving any respect to see Caleb. He is running up and dash attacking. He says, I am Sonic. I am fast. I will not let you set up your Pac-Man stuff. Why would you ever want to set up his Pac-Man? Oh, oh God. I should have known. They would have made it back. That's so crazy. Oh, and wow. Now this is good stuff. Ooh. Good stuff. And the taunt. And the taunt coming out. I, I was holding my breath right there because I saw the double, uh, double, double, um, trampoline bounce from Pac-Man and Kamek's right there knowing exactly what to do afterwards. That's just so crazy and not even stopping. Do you see all this damage? Yeah, Kamek's is playing amazing right now. This Absolutely. might be the best I've ever seen him play. And you want to know something too? I really love the way that Kamex has been, you know, interacting with Hydrant. Not really trying to stop it, but also trying to use it in a position whenever C. Caleb is landing, is trying to land, he'll use spin dash, and then that way he can still jump and then back air C. Caleb, which is really nice. I really love the way he approaches a lot of those situations. And a lot of these edge guard situations, every single time that C. Caleb has been off stage, it has ended, almost ended, you yeah. know, in death, which Pac is like. Pac-Man has an amazing recovery, but Kamex did not make it look like that, the way he edge guard. Oh, he, absolutely. He knew exactly where C-Killer was going to be, and he was so smart. I mean, he, like, mixed it up, you know? Now, I mean, he, like, normally, like, would, like, wait, maybe to wait for a back air, but then to close out the game, we haven't seen him go deep with a fair once, and he's like, mm -hmm. C-Killer's not going to be ready for this. I'm going to fast fall fair. Or I don't even know if that's a fast fall, but I'm going to fall down and fair, and you're not going to be, you're not going to be ready to get hit by that. That was, that was.